Hello everyone. My name is Daniel Nesmar and I am producer and level designer of the Dungeons of Aledorn game. Uh, we did have uh, lots of uh, questions from you guys, from you supporters and our fans about how do we using our motion capture, where it will be used and also how do we do our characters. Uh, well, uh, I am just about to reveal that uh, information to you and share it. Uh, we did have quite uh, a big challenge after we actually stand front of the scenario of the Dungeons of Aledorn and I just roughly quickly counted how many characters we do have to do and that was like some number around 500 and more and in that moment I was like just like thinking oh how many graphic designers and 3D models we will have to have on that thing and uh, later on when I was actually investigating some tools on the internet I found out awesome tool on making characters uh, which is made by Mixamo guys and it calls Fuse uh, so I'm about to actually show you uh, there's uh, software uh, it looks like uh, this guy what we just opened here and we do have uh, lots of options how to actually build our character we do have starting with the head which we can choose here from some predefined uh, 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 let's say default uh, default examples and let's say I want some uh, zombie for my for my uh, game I will click for example here the female zombie head and it will already appear here in my in my view uh, so I can actually check out how it looks like we can we can we can see we can see all the textures in real time and also we can see the lighting how it will look like when we will actually use it in the game uh, here I can actually freely change anything I want as you can see we got the deformers so we can actually build that guy how do we want narrow neck or 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 in this case very thick neck uh, we can make it higher smaller bigger anything we want really which is awesome then we can choose uh, for example body uh, for my zombie and now I can see how it looks like when it's attached to my head uh, then I can choose uh, for example some legs as, as you can see I got many to choose from I'll choose for example that guys and here you go you got legs and some arms and we do have pretty much very cool zombie already uh, we can obviously make the dimensions so it will actually fit and look like uh, it's uh, it's a woman you can make uh, as much definition as you want here once you are actually quite satisfied with the model you can go and customize him uh, more accurately with details and for that you get tons and tons of different uh, different sliders here what we can use so for example for these arms we can make them bigger smaller as I will go a little bit closer here so you can see so we can make like uh, muscles a little bit bigger you can make uh, any proportion changes you actually 
one. It's very, very intuitive and very easy to work with, which is awesome. I must uh, say what these guys actually made is uh, saving me a hell lots of time when I'm designing uh, the characters for my game. So we can do lots of different uh, changes here uh, with, with the legs, for example. So we can do a smaller feet. Little bit narrower knees. Just a little bit of the height. So as you can see, we can make lots of different characters very quickly. Uh, it does have even uh, uh, blend shapes for for the faces that you need to make uh, when you want to animate uh, the the character for some uh, discussions or some dialogues. So you can pretty much do anything with this software. Once you are satisfied with your character, you can save him or you can go and try to animate him, which is another awesome feature from these Mixamo guys. So I will go and upload uh, here my, uh, my uh, zombie, my new zombie on the, on the s server of the Mixamo and it will take a couple of secs so I will probably cut here the video and start in next two minutes so we over 90% there it took really about like two or three minutes to upload it's obviously depend on your uh, on your connection of the internet and then uh, this uh, browser window will open and auto rigger in action. What is awesome on this tool is that I will get immediately feedback and and skinning done with the character which I just made. Let's give it to a uh, couple of more secs again. I'll cut the video here and... Oh, I don't need to even cut it. It was... Already doing something. There you go. That is our character. So we can go even around in real time and have a look already how it will look like in... in my game when it will be animated. So it's completely rigged straight away. So now I can go and actually even uh, uh, choose how many bones I do want to have in my in my uh, skeleton for uh, different systems or different uh, engines. And also I can now here enable my blend shapes if I will need them for export which is awesome awesome tool so I click simply finish and here I can go and uh, uh, animate the guy straight away if I want we go to animate and it will take us to another window where we can actually choose all of these cool animations for my character where is everything what the gaming uh, indie studio actually needs pretty much already pre-prepared for you clean up nice animation so for example here I can change 
uh, I can change, I can choose uh, uh, one of the zombie walks. So I will go and write here zombie. And it will show me all of these. movements prepared for zombie character so we got walk falling zombie idle zombie kicking running we got all of these awesome movements there is lots of them so go guys and have a look on on mixamo.com where you can actually ha have uh, a small peek in their database for example, if we will take this one, which is for free, I will just simply click on it, and here straight away I will have a preview of the of the movements you can even uh, change their animations right away in 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 this uh, graphical interface on, on in the explorer so you can actually make your arms wider and slowing down the animation etc and then you just simply add it to your to your character so you just uh, press add to card and and that's pretty much it now we can go to your car, pay for it, or if you got uh, some pre prepaid uh, movements like like I do, I got 57 at the moment. So you can you can you can put them on the character straight away, download it with uh, with the character you just uh, you just made, and 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 that's it. It's awesome too. As you can see, this is my feuds model again. It didn't disappeared. This is actually all the models I have done so far. So like my library of the models which which I produced. So here is for example some villages we're using in our game. As you can see it's all online on the on the internet so it obviously takes a couple of secs always for, for downloading and uploading the files. Uh, it's all depending obviously on the on the connection of your of your uh, internet so on your internet connection. So there is one of our villagers we do are using I simply clip on a click on a fine animation here's uh, all the animations that we can pretty much use there is for example one free animation so I can put it on my character and simply add to my card and I can see somebody dancing all of the skinning text everything's for free I'll just go for free checkout. Purchase has been completed and I got saved my model on my hard disk. So now uh, 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 in my in my database so now I will just like go to downloads and check out my characters here and let's say it was that villager already can see is the fuse model 
can see the animations what we have on it. So that is our villager. Let's just simply click to queue download. Say I want FBX for Unity. Original pose, deep pose, and just queue to download. And here you can see the processing of the download. Now I just simply sit, hit download button and say where I do want to save it. So let's save it on my desktop here, and voila, I got my animated character at home. So I hope you did like the demonstration of how. Uh, of the software of our partners of the Mixamo guys uh, it is awesome software so now we are back in uh, Mixamo Fuse software and uh, I'll show you another character just quickly uh, for example I'll choose here the, the male head and quickly I'll choose here some male body, some male skinny legs and some male hands. So we quickly do have here a human character. Same like before we can change all of proportions and anything we want on, on, on this guy if, if it's needed but what I want to show you I want to show you a clothing options here so we do have clothes that we can actually put on our characters so for example I can give him this top then I can go and choose some bottom some trousers, for example, I don't know, there you go, I'll choose those ones, uh, some shoes, so I got some basic library of the shoes I can choose here, so I'll give him some big nice shoes uh, we do have also here some hair library so we can choose some hairs if it's too fancy you can use long hair So I will choose these ones and you also can cha change tons of colors in here on pretty much anything what is what is uh, uh, what you can see on so for example if I will go and uh, here I want to change the fabric on on his vest so I can I can change for example his color so I'll go and choose a red one so immediately you can see change the red on on the main fabric in here uh, I'll try to make some uh, more drastic change so you can actually see properly that's a drape which is can't be seen at the moment so let's take something what we can see Let's say, for example, West. Let's make that red. And as you can see, 
it changed red straight away. Don't you like red? Fine. Fine with me, I'll go and I'll choose blue. So it's awesome too. We can change pretty much everything here, even even the eyes, the color of the eyes. Pretty much anything we want. So it was just like quick I wanna quickly show you that uh, you can have many uh, different uh, clothing so if you don't like it you can even go back and say okay I don't like this top I want a different top for him okay so simply and quickly just click on different top and you got different top this is awesome too guys I want to show you how actually the characters looks like when they used in uh, in uh, our game so as you can see this is all Mixamo guys waiting here for you for the battle and that's them animated So yes, as you can see, we got lots of characters which we have to do uh, for our game and all of these characters will be made by this awesome software which you can use also your own stuff in to upload so you can actually make your own uh, varying for your, for your characters and, and then quickly use this the, the, the mix ammo software fuse to, to rig it send it to your unity so I hope you like what you've just seen and uh, I'll see you in another video bye bye